Hey everyone, welcome back to Kraken Packs. JB here again. Okay, listen. I know I've said multiple times that I was done buying Mega Mystery Power Boxes at Walmart by MJ Holding. But, something happened to me this time that was a little different than the last couple times. So there's a couple Walmarts near me where I've purchased the previous boxes that I, I showed you. Uh, and when I go into these Walmarts, I'm used to seeing like three or four of these on the shelf. And, and that's all that's there. Um, this time I found myself at a different Walmart, a little further away from my home. And when I got in there, they had like double digits of these boxes uh, on the shelves. I had I have not seen that anywhere else before. So that made me a little bit interesting. And when I went over and picked up this first one, you know, I'm very familiar with what those big empty boxes with like five booster packs and nothing else inside them feel like. And when I picked up this one, it was considerably heavier. So I'm not sure it's a uh, full box of Upper Deck Series 1 boosters heavier, uh, but it was heavier, so it made me curious again of what else we might find in these things. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's probably going to be like some Matthew, Austin Matthews stuffy or here or whatever like that's on the cover, and it won't be that exciting. But I just couldn't help myself. Uh, you know, I grabbed a few more, and actually, there was a couple other boxes that I grabbed, and that uh, they're all kind of differing weights. And this, I think this one was the heaviest one, probably. But um, it's just interesting that it won't necessarily be exactly the same thing in every box. So, one more time, I'm falling for the MJ holding uh, trap. We're going to get into this one. Go back and watch the last two videos if you want to see where I'm coming from. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you'll see my experience in those first two sessions. Uh, hoping for something a little different this time. Uh, and I, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm a sucker. But I'm excited to see what's inside this one. Right. Oh my. We do have a box of factory sealed packs. It's not the one we were looking for. This fell out with the paper. We have a Andrei Svechnikov Young Gun Jumbo that again, similar to the one we opened last time, uh, quite creased there. Maybe they could have figured out a different way to pack that. And we got a couple different things in here. We have the Giant Pinnacle 1997-98 portraits. Look for Hall of Fame autographs. That could be interesting. We've got... A championship Collection. Does this have a year on it? I do not see a year on it. But we have a box of some random boosters. And then we still have our guaranteed boosters in here. I don't know what the total... One bonus item and one mystery item, but uh, we have kind of three things here, so I don't know. I still don't know how they, how they pack these things. Here's one of our score and an extended, as usual. Uh, ooh, we got a Parkhurst instead of a score, and then we got just our regular uh, extended, three extended. So we're going to put those to the side. But I'm not going to be as unhappy with it this time since we got this factory sealed pack. I think maybe what I'm going to do, uh, I was a little bit prepared for this because I knew how heavy that box was, uh, is we're going to switch it up and we're going to just open this uh, box of boosters here. And uh, I'll save the other mystery box for a future video. So first get this junk fat pack out of the way. Here is just a Quinn Hughes retro. This is Parker's 2122. Feels like a thick pack for Parkhurst, but I don't know if I've necessarily opened any from this year. This does not look like a familiar pack to me. Definitely look like Parker's cards. We got a silver Devin Taves, Mike Hardman, 
rookie. And then just some standard Parkhurst in there otherwise. All right, let's open up this 97-98 uh, NHL hockey portraits. Let's see if we can get a legendary autograph in here. What do we got? Mark Recchi. Oh. Daniel Chashuk. I've never heard of this guy. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that name. A golden portrait of Jeff Sanderson. Got his son Jake playing for the Ottawa Senators now, so I'll probably hang on to that one. And Doug Waite. All right, fun to see those names. No legendary autographs. Uh, okay, and then we're going to get into this championship collection have not seen a date anywhere on this box and i'm unfamiliar with the set so i really don't know what to expect it does have a security token on it which makes me think it can't be can't be that old Oh boy. Okay, this is not what I was expecting at all. This is just random packs. This is not... This is not uh, a single set. That's probably good news, actually. Maybe some of these random packs will be something super exciting. Probably going to be better than uh, two packs of score and three packs of extended either way. So let's see what we got here. We got another pack of jumbos. Beehive Hockey 0506. Well, that's an exciting year at least. Uh, one one five by seven. I think, yeah, I can feel there's some smaller uh, cards in there as well. So I guess it's just one giant. What do we got here? So we got 0809 Victory, two of those. 09010 Collector's Choice. 09010 Series One. Okay, maybe we could find an exciting young gun in there. 0809 Opeachy. 0809 Series 1. Uh, here's another one of these. Victory. 0910 Artifacts. So this is a lot more interesting than two packs of score and three packs of extended. There's no doubt about that. 0809 Fleer, and this one even tells me that they were selling individually for $2.99. Uh, okay, what else do we have here? 0809, a lot of 0809 in here. Collector's Choice. MVP from 0809. Uh, we got an 0708 Series 1. We've got an 0910 uh, Victory. And then finally, an 0910 OPG. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to just open these newest to oldest. Uh, 09010 is the newest one here, I think. Yeah, so 9010 Artifacts, 9010 Victory, 910 Collector's Choice. We'll probably do that one last. Uh, those are 809. Let's see what else, 0809. Okay, so we'll do the victory from 0809. Uh, then maybe the Fleer. MVP can actually probably be even before victory. And OPG back then was not great either. So those, and then, oh no, I missed a, We'll start out with the OPG here, and we'll do the 0708 Series 1 last. Okay. So this should be this should be fun. This is what I am hoping for when I buy a mystery box. A bunch of random packs. Uh, these years, honestly, uh, are not years that I was collecting, so off the top of my head, I can't even tell you what the big names are I'm looking for. I know it's not. 0506 is good for Crosby and uh, Ovechkin. 
What do we have here? Luke Robitaille. Uh, this is <laughs> not in great condition. That's a fun one. Uh, yeah, 0506, Crosby and Ovechkin. After that, I don't really know until 2015 when we got Connor McDavid. So uh, some rookies in between in between Sidney Crosby and Connor McDavid is what we're looking for here. Let's see what this Beehive pack has for us. Brendan Shanahan, Curtis Joseph in an Arizona Coyotes jersey. Uh, Tumo Rutu and Keith Primo. All right. Here we go. Pack number one from our big collector's edition. 2009-10 uh, OPG. Six cards per pack. Collect 600 cards. That's You would have had to buy a lot of these packs to get your 600 cards. This is the great old paper stock. Uh, reminds me of, I don't know if you guys ever had to do this when you were in elementary school, but they teach you how to make paper. That's, that's what this card stock reminds me of. Willie Mitchell, Scott Clemenson. We got a marquee rookie, Kevin Quick. Ooh, Jonathan Quick. Uh, Alice Kotalik and Sammy Sallow. All right. So another nice thing about opening up all these old packs is uh, remembering the players. So we'll stay with the same year, 0910, and this is collector's choice. Jason Spezza. That is great. I love that right away. I'm going to throw this aside because I'm going to keep that one. Matt Gilroy, Henrik Lungfist Stickums. Is that oh it peels off. It's a sticker there. That's kind of neat. Uh Danny Heatley, also in a Senator's jersey, even though he's got the still got the Sharks. So or I guess I shouldn't say still. He had already been traded to, to the Sharks, but still only had him in the Sens jersey. Marion Hosa, another former Senator. And something stuck at the back. Zach Brise. All right. See, when I'm ripping through 2022, 20, 23, 2021, 20, 22, and whatever products, you notice that I'm just flying right past all the base cards because nobody cares what any of those are. But when you get these older packs, it's fun to even just pay attention to the base just to remember who used to play hockey. All right, we got a Kipper and something attached to him. Chris Drury. This is victory, by the way. Forgot to mention, we have Game Breakers, I guess. Ryan Klo. Uh, that's a bit of a thicker card for no apparent reason. We have Michael Ryder and Mikhail Bodker. All right. What do we got here? Artifacts from 0910. Drew Doughty. Wow, Artifacts used to be a lot nicer than it is now. Mason Raymond. Jason Bommenville. Patrice Bergeron. And Thomas Placanic. All right, none of these are rookies or anything. Just, I guess this is probably a retail pack. Five base cards. But again, nice looking base cards for artif Artifacts. Kind of wish they'd go back to something like that. But here is our hope for 0910 because we got Upper Deck Series 1. So, can we hit a young gun? And can it be someone sweet? We've got. Oh, and these are real stuck. Let's try to loosen some of these up here before I start going through. Uh, sorry about that. Just, uh, you know, old packs. We've got Ryan Miller. Phil Castle. What the heck is going on here? That is Sidney Crosby, and that says... Oh, that's Checklist. I don't know if this is just because the card is so old, or they didn't know how to punch cards back then. That was it's tough to see that Checklist there. Johan Franzen. We got a Draft Day Gems Luke Robitaille. 171st pick overall in 1984. Yeah, I'd say that was a good 171st overall pick. Uh, there's Claude Giroux. 
Here's Jesse Winchester. I remember him. And Jean-Michel Lyles. Okay, so no young gun. Actually, I guess that is just a... Oh, no, we, I guess this is draft eight gems. is probably an insert. We got on to 2008-2009. We have OPG. Ooh, and this one, I guess, was hanging on a shelf at some point. Sheldon Sure, Andre Kopitar, Christoph Schubert, Kyle Calder, Alexi Zitnik. Oh, we got something there. We got filler. Well, even back in 2008, they had filler. Pat LaFontaine, Legends. I like Pat LaFontaine and a security tag in OPG. Come on. Um, I like Pat LaFontaine. He was a favorite growing up, so we'll put that aside. Next up in 2008-2009 is MVP Hockey. So I'm expecting uh, not much from MVP because of how I feel about modern day MVP, but let's see. Oh, I mean, you know what? All these old sets, that just looks better. I don't know why. It makes you wonder how they ended up where they are. Uh, yeah, still the cardstock doesn't feel great, but that's a ni nicer image to me than what we have these days. Uh, Mikhail Samuelson, Patrick Laleem, Rod Brindamore. Oh, I guess every single one of these has that, like, script uh, on it, which maybe is a little bit overboard. Brad Boys, Ty Conklin, uh, Jonathan Chichu. That's probably, you know, right before he fell off a cliff there. Andre Kostitsen, Marked by Valor, Eric Stahl. And, uh, yeah, some rewards card that is definitely not worth anything at this point. All right, moving on. We got three packs of 0809 Victory. Pre-Connor McDavid, so we got Sidney Crosby on all these packs. Holy Yoko. Oh, these ones are stuck together pretty good again here. Holy Jokinen. Chris Drury. Marcus Nasland. Justin Williams, uh, Ryan Malone, and we have rookie Sammy Lapisto. All right, nothing really of note there. Miro Shatan. See, this is this is fun, man. Seeing all these old names. Jonathan Taves when he was just a pup. Vesa Toskala, Ruslan Fedotenko, Alexander Steen. And star of the game, Ryan Miller. Also looking pretty fresh. Last pack of 0809 victory. Michael Ryder, Mark Stahl, you know that Mark Stahl, that reminds me that 0809 is not as long ago as I think that it was, Time Flies, Damon Lankow, Nathan Horton, RJ Umberger, and we have a rookie, Matthias Rittola, so both our victory rookies are uh, not players who had very long careers in the NHL. What else do we have here? Fleer 0809. Fleer Ultra, in fact. That's a pretty card. We got Dwayne Rollison. Kerry Ramo. Brian Gianta. Oh, gold medalist Brian Gianta. And gold medalist what does that say it's mark fisher but it looks underneath it it says ultra rookie maybe probably and mark savard poor mark savard if only he'd been maintained his health That 
It's not a bad set. I'm sure if we hit like a premier premier rookie of Fleer Ultra, uh, that would feel pretty good. Daniel Paye. Whoa. We have Patrick O'Sullivan. Here's another ultra rookie. It's, hmm? Gotta look on the back to see his name because I can't read that. Mike Igledon. Uh Michael Roosevelt. And Marek Svatos. All right. That is it for Fleer. We got an 0809 collector's choice, and then we'll finally be at the Upper Deck Series 1 for 0809. This back has some sort of code on the wrapper that I'm sure I can't use for anything. We got Bill Guerin, J.S. Jaguer. Here's a star selection. That's a pretty good lineup. Parise, Broder, and Patrick Eliash. Alex Ovechkin, Chippy's Choice. Uh, we got Marty Turco and Pavel Datsuk. Okay, so now just two packs of flagship upper deck. The first one is going to be 0809. Then we're going to get one from 0708. Uh, I'm guessing so. If Sid was 0506, then Malkin must be uh, 0607, right? So I'm not sure who would be in 0708. Uh, that is Daniel Sedin. There is Alfie. What a beautiful card that is. Put him over there with Spets. We have uh, Mike Commissarek. Here's our young gun, TJ Oshie. That's pretty good for a random pack. All right. Look, how, how much better is this than opening two packs of score and three packs of... Uh, Extended from 2021. Andrew Cogliano, Jared Bowl, and Tobias Enstrom. All right. Last pack from this big giant mystery box. And I gotta say, if everyone, I mean, obviously everyone is not gonna be a winner like this, but if it was more than like the 10% hit rate that, uh, that I'm pulling so far. This would be a lot more interesting. Brian McCabe, Joe Thornton. This is a, sorry, this is 0708 series one. Uh, Chris Kelly. So these, even though these are base cards, you just see these base cards of old players who you used to cheer for. Uh, and they're fun to see. What do we have here? Redeem your code today. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to redeem any codes. Peter Budai, Paul Martin, and Ray Emery. So this is just a base pack for 07, 08. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Only 6 cards? Is that right? Did they only have 6 cards back then? Uh... It says eight cards per pack. I don't know. I guess that redemption card maybe is was supposed to be. Oh no, we got something stuck. We got Chris Pronger. So that redemption card just took up one slot. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that is what an exciting box of uh, sorry, what is it called? Mega Mystery Power Box by MJ Holding. That that can be a lot of fun, I guess, if you hit the right one. Uh, I mean, unfortunately, that means you probably want to go in and feel the box before you buy it, but that seems a little dirty, so wish they could do something about uh, making all the boxes weigh the same. But uh, it can be fun. It can be a good time. So um, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you want to see me open the other four boxes that I bought that probably don't have entire boxes of random boosters in them, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back soon with those. Until then, thanks for watching.